How is everybody? How are you? Doing great. Jermaine Moore from Hope knows very well the meaning of overcoming obstacles. He uses a wheelchair with help from his caretaker, Latanya Nelson. Why? I'll let him tell you. I was born with cerebral palsy, which limits my physical movement. He can't speak, at least the way you might expect. <laughs> but how? Well, do you see that laser dot on his forehead? I have 2.2 picture for a certain length of time. It takes some time, but he's able to signal keys on his computer called an eco device. I received my first communication device when I was 13 years old. Before then, imagine the difficulty he had trying to express himself. Very challenging. I had to use my eyes to communicate. He's always had hope that technology would open doors, and that hope strengthened his faith. Do you ever think that what would life be like if you didn't have CP? Yes, many times I wish I didn't have a disability, but now I see how God is using my disability for His glory. And on March 27, 2011, God blessed me to speak my first message as a minister at my home church. A minister and college graduate. God blessed me to attend the University of Arkansas Community College here in Hope, where I received an associate degree in business technology in May of 2011 after nine years of hard work. As his caretaker, Nelson helps with chores around his apartment, but she's also his friend. Don't judge him because of his condition, because he's just like me and you. I wanted to ask you, what do you do for fun? I like to go see my friend on Tuesday nights, Miss Rashonda Jackson. Jackson is his girlfriend. He met her at his workplace. That's right, he has a job. He's a greeter at the Rainbow of Challenges Bargain Center in Hope. Good morning. Welcome to Rainbow of Challenges Bargain Center. We have nice fall clothes and nice furniture merchandise. Today our shoes is just 50 cents and boots is just a dollar. So if you need help, please let us know and we will be happy to help you. He gets along great with other employees, many of whom also have disabilities. How you mind? <laughs> he's accomplished a lot at the age of 29 and he's thankful for everyone who's helped him along the way, especially those closest to him. My family is very, very, very supportive of me. Without my family, especially my mom and my stepdad, I am scared to think where I would be. That support, that unlimited hope, not only makes him stronger every day, it makes him a beacon of hope for others with disabilities.